And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video and today we are going to be taking a look and breaking down the 34th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. The third member of the Detroit Lions 2023 Draft class, Iowa tight end Sam Laporta. Now, Sam Laporta, as I said, was the 34th selection in the 2023 NFL Draft and is projected to become the Detroit Lions' new tight end one for the upcoming season. And today, we are going to talk about the controversial pick among Lions fans, talk about what he's good at, what he's bad at, his role within the offense, his RAS and athletic numbers, as well as the overall grade for the picking of the Iowa tight end. So with that being said, without any further ado, let's get right on into taking a look at Sam Laporta, the tight end from Iowa. Now, last year for the Iowa Hawkeyes in a very poor passing system and with a quarterback that probably won't start next season because any incoming recruit is likely an upgrade, Sam Laporta had a pretty fairly good statistical season. 58 receptions, 657 yards, and a single touchdown for the Iowa tight end. However, last year did set the Iowa tight end's reception record, beating out guys like TJ Hawkinson, George Cato, Noah Fant, as well as several other really good Iowa tight ends to have come from tight end university and Sam Laporta outproduced all of them. Now, as I said, the quarterbacking system at Iowa was relatively poor. His quarterbacking play was not very good. The offense was not schemed necessarily for him to succeed statistically. And yet he was still one of the more productive tight ends throughout college football. And I think it showed a lot of ability that is going to translate to the next level that he just didn't quite get the opportunity to produce like at the University of Iowa. Now, looking at Sam Laporta's pros, obviously being a top 35 prospect, you're going to have a lot. He's a very natural and fluid receiver. His hands are incredibly strong, very fluid. He looks very natural when making receptions, and he is an athlete. I believe started at wide receiver before putting on a little bit of weight and moving over to tight end, and it shows. He is a natural receiver. He is really good when taking the ball out of the air and just looks really good doing so. Now, he's also a willing blocker, obviously. The Iowa tight ends have to be good blockers. That's what they do. They run the football a lot. It's a run-heavy scheme who uses their tight ends in the passing game, but they run the ball a ton. And Sam Laporta, despite not necessarily being the most powerful or imposing blocker, is a very willing blocker. At the very least, he will get in the way, he will slow down people, and he will seal off an edge if he needs to in order to break his running back for a huge game. Now, what sets Sam Laporta now what sets Sam Laporta apart from the rest of this tight end class is his athleticism and his yak ability. His yak ability is probably the best in this entire tight ends class. His ability to get yards after the catch, break tackles, get that extra yardage, and be a security blanket for his for his quarterback is unlike any tight end in this draft class, right? I think Dalton Kitnick, you could argue, is maybe a better receiver. I would argue that Darnell Washington, probably a better blocker. I would rather, I would say Michael Mayer, maybe a little bit better of an all-around tight end. But if you're talking about a pure receiver, you're talking about yak ability, you're talking about route running, you're talking about separation, you're talking about run after the catch, you're talking about contact, Sam Laporta is head and shoulders above everybody else in this class with the football in his hand. And that goes hand in hand with his athleticism. His athleticism is really good spots for a tight end. And he plays so much like George Kittle that it's kind of an uncanny similarity. And on top of that, his motor is obviously very good. His love of football is obviously there. That's why the Detroit Lions drafted him. And I think he's going to fit this system so incredibly well. He's going to slide in as the tight end one. He's going to be you know, a very good receiving option, a very good security blanket for Jared Goff or Hendon Hooker whenever he ends up playing and starting. But 
Sam Laporta is going to be a long-term tight end. This is a guy that is going to slide in and be the tight end one. He can black. He is willing to pass block. He's going to be a great wide receiver. You can give him dump off passes underneath it. He's going to pick up yards. You can dial up screens for him. You can send him on deep routes. You can send him on intermediate routes. Like this guy runs every route in the route tree while being a willing blocker and having great yard after the catch ability. And I think he's going to be the easy tight end one. And then Brock Wright will be behind him. And then I think James Mitchell will be the tight end three as another receiving option potentially. And I think that we're going to see Sam Laporta at more than just tight end. I think you could probably see him being lined up as kind of that X wide receiver position as well, a bigger body guy, somebody that is going to go out muscle you to the football. And I think in especially goal line situations, we could see Sam Laporta in a lot of different situations at a lot of different spots to help the Lions utilize their new tight end perfectly. Now, taking a look at his RAS score, his size isn't great. Only six foot three, 245 pounds and 16 reps on the bench. He's not the biggest guy, right? He's not Travis Kelsey. He's not Darnell Washington. He's not a huge tight end that is going to physically impose on you, but he is an extremely athletic tight end with elite speed grades running in the four fives, elite agility grades with a four, two, five shuttle and a six, nine, one, three cone. And then his explosiveness grade is really good as well with 35 reps on with 35 inches in the vertical jump and 10 foot, three inches on the broad jump. He was graded as a top explosiveness grade as well. So that kind of goes into his yak ability, right? After he catches the ball, you're dealing with a six foot three, 245 pound, essentially wide receiver. That's going to run in the four fives. That is agile, that is agile, explosive, and does not go down when contact comes and hits him. Now, as far as an overall grade for this pick, I think Sam Laporta is an A-. minus. He's a good receiver and he's a perfect fit for the offense, and it was at a huge position of need on the offense. I would argue the biggest position of need on the offense this offseason was the tight end position, right? It's a position that they just traded away TJ Hawkinson. It's a position that, yeah, was productive a season ago, but wasn't necessarily a big name thing, wasn't necessarily a focal point of the offense because after TJ Hawkinson was gone, they didn't have anybody that they could really rely on to be that tight end one. Didn't have anybody that could they rely on to get 70, 80 targets, 50, 60 receptions a season like TJ Hawkinson was, but they're also not going to pay a tight end 15 to $20 million for inconsistent play and not necessarily the highest upside as a player. Sam Laporta has that though. Sam Laporta is a high upside player. Sam Laporta is an elite receiving tight end. And honestly, day one of the NFL draft or day one of him stepping on an NFL field, Sam Laporta might be a top 10 receiving tight end in the NFL. He is that gifted. He is that natural at wide receiver. It was a huge position of need. And I genuinely think that Sam Laporta is going to be a long time starter for this team. Now again, Tight end, not a huge position of value, right? Not a valuable position, not a premium position, but you get a position that you needed. You get a position that upgrades the offense. And as we saw last year, Jared Goff likes to use his tight ends, right? Even when he didn't have elite playmakers, he threw it to his tight ends a lot. James Mitchell got 12 targets and had a touchdown. You know, I think that, um, you know, I think Brock, you know, Brock Wright had quite a few receptions and quite a few big games, despite not being the number one tight end on pretty much any offense around the NFL. And even Shane Zalstra had four touchdowns last year, despite not really being a starting caliber, starting quality tight end in the NFL. So now you put that guy, you put Sam Laporta into a similar role to what those tight ends were getting last year with the addition of a healthy James Mitchell with Again, Brock Wright probably being your second or third tight end. Now, despite having pretty decent numbers as a tight end one, now the tight end position goes from, oh, you don't have any names, oh, you don't really have any playmakers, to now you have really good depth, now you have really good players, and you have players that are going to help Jared Goff get out of sticky situations and help the offense in every facet of the game. So with all that being said, that is kind of the breakdown of Sam Laporte. I give it an A minus grade, a position of need, a great football player. Might not be the most valuable position, but it was a valuable position to the Detroit Lions, and it was a position of need that was addressed and filled throughout the draft. So with all that being said, that is all we have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you go down below and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on bell notifications so that you never miss a daily Detroit Lions upload. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Sam Laporta, what you think about the pick, the grade, and of course, just the overall player and scheme fit. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, 
Go Lions!